Hey guys and girls at YouTube. Uh, Mr. John Dragon Man here. I'm just showing off some of the things that we've just been given. Um, this one here is a very, very nice little. How do you pronounce that? Iowa? Iowa sound system? Cassette tape. It's a bit old, but it doesn't matter. It's still good. It's uh, recording in all sorts. It does metal as well as normal tapes and whatnot. Loads of different types. It's a lovely little um, so sound system. I'll turn the volume down because I don't put copyright or anything. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it took us a while to figure it out to figure out how to do it. I didn't realise at first that you could turn the the collars around. My hands are a bit dirty. <laughs> I've been uh, doing a lot of work out here. One bulb's blown, but I soon think I can fix that. Uh, you can see. In the shadow. One of the VU meter bulbs has blown. Very nice. I always wanted one with the VU meter on it. This will make a very nice one for the garage, this. Um, it would be good for the house, but modern day surround sound system and everything has kind of killed that. Because uh, that does it all and plays videos as well. But this one is just sound and cassettes. But I think it's got an input for a phono input, so your LP player and everything can be plugged into it. But I've uh, also got these real nice speakers too. I've got the front covers from as well. All really nice and clean. It's a shame that the case is a bit broken down a bit. Well, not broken down, but it's a bit... got some knocks in it. But real nice. Uh, Celestion Ditton 22s. Uh, as I've been told, these things can be worth quite a bit of cash. I don't know if they, have, if they are or not. Looks like some mould on the speakers. Uh, I don't think so. It's just where it's... Thingy. No, it's just me, I think that. Very loud. Really sound nice. Really nice sounding speakers. I don't think the absolute top of the range in terms of top of the range, you know, speakers on or what, but they don't off sound good anyway. You got your 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 tweeter, your mid and your bass at the bottom, which is all nice. And they do sound quite nice, don't they? These yeah. speakers. They do sound really good when you turn them off. We've not got an aerial plugged into the um into the thing at the moment, and I can't play music because of um, copyright. But uh, yeah, I uh, it, w it would be nice to have done that. Yeah, sorry about that, guys and girls. I had a phone call come through. Um, yeah, you anyway, know, like I said, um, I think that we'll be able to sell these on and probably make a bit of cash. Uh, I'll keep hold of the tr of the receiver, I think, because that would make a nice receiver for the garage. Oh, looks like my brother's found some more cable. They'll be able to get the other speaker wired up. Apparently, there's uh, there's there's a switch on it saying for different speakers, Alex, A and B. All right. And I think that that's what we got mixed up. So I think you can have four speakers hooked up to this thing, and um, you know, and then you flick the switch according to which ones you want playing, you know, it playing out of. Yeah. Big loud speakers or small loud speakers, I suppose. All right. Oh, it'd be good for having, you know speakers in both rooms because I know that used to be big in the 80s you know you have a couple of speakers in each room and then you just flick it over on a big switch but yeah these things uh, these things work really nice and I think it would be really good to have in the garage that just have it up on top of the cupboard or something replace the one we've got with some other speakers or something and if I was to tune it to some static you could have a listen to it. Sadly, it's only static, and it's only going to be. Oh, that's... You can hear our the tick. What we've got is our electric fence. Is that both of them going on? It should be both of them. Let's have a listen then. I can hear the loud. Yeah, they're both going. My favourite radio station. Okay, German radio stations come through. So this thing also does um, shortwave as well. 
Uh, shortwave, what frequency range is it? 6 to 16 megahertz, it says, on the shortwave band. So, oh, it does amateur band as well. So you can pick up, um, yeah, what was it, 40 meters amateur, is that? I can't remember now. Oh, 20 meters amateur, I think it is. No, it can't be 20 meters amateur. No, that's ridiculous. Of course it's not. Yeah, it looks alright here anyway. Oh, it does uh, 14 megs as well, so it'll pick up, pick up 20. Uh, that's 30, so yeah, 40. But it won't do 80. Not going to go down low enough. But that's quite nice. 80 is 3 metres. Uh, 80 metres is 3 megs. 7, met uh, 7 megs is uh, 40 metres. It's been a while since I've done the amateur radio stuff. You know? I, don't, I don't use HF anymore, so... Put the back on. Oh, there you go. There they are with the fascias on. Real nice speakers, to be fair. I think uh, I do like them, but if they're worth more to be sold, then I will sell them. Let's see what. Mind you, like I say, won't pick up anything on the. Let's flick it to FM. No, sorry, to shortwave. Yeah, and the whole band is dead. I've got absolutely nothing on the whole band. Huh. That's loud. That's FM. And there's nothing on FM. No aerial. There's one station up here that you can just about get. And that must be one that's really close to us. But yeah. That's really nice. I'm quite happy with that. That'll lovely replace the ones in the garage. Which is just a little conventional hi-fi system. With a CD player built into it. But we never use that. Alright guys and girls, thank you for watching. I think that kind of cuts off. Oh, let's have a look at the model number of this thing. If there is a model number on it. It is a stereo cassette receiver system 3070. 3070. <clears throat> Made by Iowa. And let's have a look at the back as well, because the back's nice. We all like to see what's on the back of these things. We've got a DIN socket. Phono, ground, speaker sync, sweet. Uh, FM balance line, 300 ohm. AM line, FM tuner, 75 ohm, unbalanced. Uh, oh, it's even got a 120 to 240 volt switch over on it. Very nice. Yeah, caution, friends electric shock, do not remove cover. Ha! Huh. Since when have I ever listened to that? <laughs> Alright then guys and girls, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on a bit. Peace out.